Hi kids, just sitting here on a Saturday. It is 11 o'clock and my husband went to go take my dad to the ER because he thinks he might have pneumonia and my dad's funny. Every time he has any kind of pain or problem, he needs to go to the ER. He is 83 years old and he's as cute as a button and he's had diabetes ever since he was 12 and he has always been quite healthy and taken really good care of himself and he's just so funny and lovable and I love my dad more than anything. So he called and the last time he went to the ER he had gas. <laughs> But he had to go to the ER. He insisted on it so because he thought, well, maybe it's another kidney stone. So we take him to the ER, and they're like, well, have you taken any laxatives or anything? And my dad's like, yeah, I took a laxative yesterday. Hello. So, yeah, he had gas. <laughs> he had cramping from his Dolcolax. And the time before he went to the ER just for some weird little thing and it was nothing luckily so this time he calls and has a really bad chest cold and so we're taking him just in case it's pneumonia we don't want to risk it so my husband took him because he's better at doing stuff like that I get anxious I have really bad anxiety and when it comes to that to taking care of at least my dad and stepmom it's really hard because my stepmom has dementia and it's getting worse and my dad is dingy and old and it's just I it's hard I get anxiety trying to take care of them because they don't know certain things and they get confused and it's just really hard and I get scared and anxious and so my husband offered to take him to the ER today and so I'm just waiting to hear back from him and hopefully he doesn't have pneumonia and hopefully he doesn't have to get admitted to the hospital. So, And if he does, and I'll have to sleep over at their house because my stepmom, I don't think she can be alone with her dementia. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's getting worse and she might forget what happened and wonder where my dad is. And so it's just better if I would be there to be with her. It's just to keep things safe and calm. So anyway, I'm just, I thought I'd throw a little vlog in. And, you know, my vlogs have to be live like this because I don't have editing. This is just my cell phone and I am not computer savvy. So I am just chilling. And I just uploaded my Sam's Club video and now I am going out here into my living room. I decided to pack a little purse, well, a big purse, in case I have to go to the ER or something. I packed my big bag right there, right there, because I've got a bunch of stuff in it in case I need to go. Let me just show you what all I have. In fact, let me, well, since I'm on my phone, I can't, I can't flip you around, so I'll just show you what I have in here bit by bit. I have my jumbo word search, because you never know. Actually, I'm going to get my cell phone stand that I got from the Dollar Tree. And maybe I'll just set you up in that and then I can have two hands. See, it's this little cute cell phone stand. And it's got a princess crown on it. So, let's see how that works. Oh, that works pretty well. Okay, so here's my bag. I got this at Target. I mean, I got this at Old Navy. And I just love this camel color. I've got lots of clothes this color. So anyway, 
like I said, in case I need to go to the hospital, I brought my jumbo word search to find. My wallet. Kleenex, because you know I have the allergies. Another little freebie of Kleenex I got from Sam's Club. A couple of high chews to keep my blood sugar up. A half eaten roll of Mentos. <laughs> like this whole bag is full of candy. Gummy lifesavers. A fruit snack. Some medicine in case I need it. A couple of pens. I got my cell phone charger in case I need that. Got a couple of antacids and some Claritin D. And I got my earbuds in case I want to watch some YouTube videos if I'm stuck in the hospital. And here's a fun one. It's kind of embarrassing, but hey, I'm all about keeping it clean, okay? I'm keeping it real and I'm keeping it clean. I got a little bag of butt wipes <laughs> because I have to I have to feel fresh. I have to I have to be clean, okay? And these are good for other things. I could wipe my hands off with these if I get dirty or whatnot. So yeah, now you know I've got butt wipes in my purse. And that's it. And then I've got, I'll keep my cell phone in there, but I just thought I'd get things packed up in case I need to go at the last minute and then I'll be ready. So yeah, but there's my purse and I've got my jacket all ready to go because hospitals are always freezing. So anyway, I kind of like my little cell phone stand. It works pretty well for a buck. So, I'm sorry my little vlogs kind of are boring, but I'm all alone here and there's not much going on. So anyway, I guess that'll be that. I don't know. I guess I can give you a little update on my chia head. My little chia head is still a dead head. It's just not, it's just not growing. The little seeds are in there, but, and I water them. It says not to water them too much or too little, so I just put a couple little drops every day, and, I, and it says give them sunlight, and I give them sunlight, and he just stays bald. I don't think he'll be growing any thing so I don't know maybe I can go to the craft store and buy some fake grass and glue that in because he's just so cute I want to keep him I want him to grow but what can I say what you gonna do hmm all right well I guess I bored you enough and hopefully my dad will be okay and I won't need to go to the hospital so I shall keep you posted on that. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great weekend, and I shall talk to you soon. Bye.